first of all, full disclosure, I'm, I'm quite involved in union service. The reason that I got involved as many years ago as I did was because I saw the way our contracts were devolving. Actors that you see on TV, just because you've seen them on TV or in a movie, it doesn't mean they're rich. It doesn't even mean they're middle class. It could mean that they barely made enough money to pay their rent for six months. After you pay your reps and you pay taxes, the people would be stunned without going into the amounts. It's it's gotten to be about 25%. Streaming is 25% of what we used to earn on like a regular TV show. And that's happened with each new technology. When VHS went to DVD, they cut the formula saying, well, we don't know if anybody's gonna buy these things. Well, of course they know. They know because they've already planned that everything is gonna go into DVD and then Blu-ray and now cable and then streaming. Mm -hmm. And with each new technology, they asked the performing side and writers as well, take a cut. Cause we don't know if this thing's gonna work, but they know. And they throw tons of money into it and they are counting on people now with streaming to support it via subscriptions, but they didn't factor in as part of their cost model, actually paying the people who make the content, the writers and the performers. They just said, you guys contribute sweat equity. And then we'll talk about it on the next contract, except that never happened. That never came. They never cut us in and we cannot survive on less money and less. So it makes them look great because their quarterly reports uh, for their shareholders look great because it's more profit and more profit and more profit. Now, if you ask any company since the dawn of time, are they in profit? Oh no, we make no profit. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Miramax company that I, I did a movie with and I think they, they were, they were a, an incredibly, um, um, creative, wonderful film company, like never showed a profit on a movie. All of us saw Kill Bill. All of us saw it. Pulp Fiction, all of us, you know? I mean, it's just, it's nuts. So when these companies cry poor mouth and then they they say, we just, we just don't have the money, we've done the math, we've done it. And it would cost 0.0, .0 to six percentage of their revenue collectively all the studios together to cover all of the asks for the writers and actors to just live this is not for me this is for the people who can't negotiate a contract for the background artists the, the basic wage earner in stunts in dance in acting and all of it it's for it's for them so um, Cheryl and I are, are quite supportive of our union siblings. And I had been out there on the line when it was WGA that went out mm -hmm. along with my castmates. They were all out there too. And we had a great day on the Philly, on the Philly line. And I always bring Stan with me, Stan Davis, who plays Mr. Johnson. I always swing by his house and he gets in the car. I just hope that whatever the roadblocks are, we can figure that out, get that out of the way, and all of us go back to doing what we love, which is to entertain the whole world. Mm -hmm.